Anthony Ferraro, Dan Mancina, two blind guys collide to bring you Four Bad Eyes Podcast. Welcome back, 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 four bad eyes, 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 eyes. Ain't no lie, lie, lie. Lie, lax. <laughs> Sit back. Yo, it's four bad eyes. Even though we're blind, we still cry. My shirt has no sleeves, and the freaking neck is a V. <laughs> he does have a V neck on. The old bones T. Let's go. Woo! Back in the studio. I think I just spit all over my mouth. Yes. <laughs> we are back. Y'all going to put two America's Most Wanted in the same motherfucking building at the same motherfucking time? For that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing but a gangster party. Oh, my We're back. God. We are back. back in the mitten. In the mitten. The smitten. Mich- Michigan. Getting. Smitten in the mitten. In the Michigan. I'm making love to my mic right now, dude. My face all in it. It is hot <laughs> in the mitten. I don't need a mitten in the summertime. Yeah, it's like it's like uh like ninety degrees outside. High humidity. High humidity. Yesterday was my birthday. Daniel son. Turned it up, dude. We had his birthday party. Ain't nothing but a gangster party. <laughs> It was sick. I know y'all are running that 808 when you hear that B-A-S-S bass. <laughs> I like the way you move. <laughs> I like the way. We had. I like the way. It was also Go Skateboarding Day. It was Go Skateboarding Day. <laughs> but um, bump went to the Plus Skateboard Camp. The hung plus. out with the, the. Shout out to Rob. Rob Walkers. Shout out to Man. Plus Skate Skate Shop in Farmington Hills, Michigan. Has a skate camp Ew. every year. The Groms. The Groms. It was sick. Yeah, they were hyped. It was like 99 degrees. It was like, yeah, it was hot. Hot. We went in the middle of the day at 1, 30. The heat. Heat index. It was freaking awesome, though. Dan, oh, I don't know what it was. Dan gave a um, little demo. Impromptu speech demo. Impromptu. And Dude, every kid, year, that's my rituals. I go there and just chill with the kids. Dude, to feel the, how hyped those kids were, was, that was sick. They were screaming, like, <laughs> just so stoked anytime you land. One so. love! <laughs> One love, Anthony Ferraro! That Happy birthday, fun. Dad! <laughs> Yeah, that's right. There's like probably 20 kids there or something like No, that. there was 50. Was it 50? Yeah, Dude, there was like a big 50. Crew. Yeah, we probably signed 50 freaking autographs. That was Yeah, the board. That madness. was rad. We signed a bunch of oh, boards for kids. these kids. Signing autographs when you're blind is very... It's got Each one is a u- very unique <laughs> yeah, it's all, signature. It's one of one signatures. And the, when you're using a paint marker, there's probably just a mash of just no letters. Just like... <laughs> Just a blob. It's like <laughs> pew, pew. a lot of distortion. A distortion. I had a, my fortune. Got a little distortion. No, we were signing that the kids would be like, sign right here. And you'd be like, where, man? Show me. That was fun. But that's what we did. Yeah, they had a barbecue at the house. I drank uh, a couple beers out the f- a Freedom Funnel. Freedom Funnel. About to do that again tonight, the hawk. boy. No. It's a bald eagle. And then, uh, and then it turns into beer. a nighthawk. <clears throat> I did not. <laughs> I did not tonight. partake in the eagle. Tonight you will. No. Yes. No way. Yes. No. Can you not chug a beer? I choose not to. Can you? I don't know, especially not a Bud Light. What do you want out of there? Nothing. I just would rather it have... It has a- to be something light to chug it. Yeah, that's true. Man, if it ain't Bud Light, it don't taste right. That's what I say. That's my motto. <laughs> That's my motto, man. If it ain't Bud Light, it don't taste right, man. That's <laughs> got me an ad, dude. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> Baby Dragon. Dude, oh, I got that uh, acid reflex. Dan fell asleep before his mom even got here last night. My mommy came. 
then wouldn't even get up. She came in the door and singing, all I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. <laughs> it's a big booty. <laughs> That's what Kelly said. She came in the door singing. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Bear. Mama Bear's the best. <clears throat> Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Carol with the knee. We had a bunch of burgers and dogs. Burgers, dogs, veggie dogs, vegan, vegan cheese, cheese, low carb buns, regular buns, vegan burgers, potato, um, um, uh, pasta salad, beans, beans, asparagus, uh, te- chopped what, peppers. What was it called? Uh, some kind cowboy of cowboy caviar. Cowboy caviar dip. What is like? What is in that thing? Beans and stuff. Black beans. <laughs> Stop talking. What? <laughs> beans and cheese. <laughs> I don't think there was cheese. There was like black beans. Yeah, there's definitely cheese in the caviar. <laughs> definitely cheese in there. What? You don't like this? Come on, man. We in the Midwest, brother. I got my cut off t shirt. Gotta get in the character. He goes, goes, feel my shirt. <laughs> it's cut off V Mac. And I think it's like, ew, no. No. I had the, well, the sleeve had like a hole. I can't stop yawning. The sleeve had a hole, like in the back, you know what I mean? Like on the seam of the, uh, where the sleeve meets the T. Mm-hmm. So I decided to rip Oh, you just ripped that off. Rip that sucker clean it, Oh, and there. it's a pocket T. Yeah, the there's a little that. pocket T in front for my, for my palm all known for. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> right, bro. Indeed, this weekend we're going to the Monster Truck Rally. Stop. For we with Grave Digger. <laughs> Ouch. This Sunday. You're doing that voice all morning. <laughs> he's, been, he's been commentating Monster Truck Grave Rally. Grave Digger meets Scooby Doo. <laughs> 30 cent beers for the first hour. <laughs> Three uh, cents. 30 cent Bud Lights for the first hour. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. <laughs> All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. Shut up. <laughs> it's a big booty hoe. Yes, dude. Oh, man. And I got one because the name is Heather Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Heather for... Yeah, making all hosted. the food yesterday. Her and the whole fam, her mom fam crushed it. My sister-in-law. It was a good time, dude. dude that was Had fun. The, some dudes over too skating. Flora the, crew. The Flora crew. Flora crew. Fluoride crew <laughs> was hanging tough. That was sick. We were skating, hit the lake. Oh, yeah, we did go for a dip. You didn't even take your shoes off, dude. Dude, there was geese poop everywhere. Goose poop. Geese is singular. Well, or what if is one- plural. Yeah, goose. Because a bunch goose of poop. gooses. Geese poop. poop? I no. guess it would be geese poop. Yeah, because it's, it's. That sounds wrong, though. Multiple it would goose. be goose poop. No, multiple goose. But each poop is one goose poop. What's a There's goose, goose poop? What's a goose look like? What's a goon to a go- A goose? <laughs> Long neck? <laughs> um, Seriously, I don't know. Big, what a, yeah, it's what big a bird. Goose looks like. They're gray and white. A little bit of black, I think, in there. Big ass birds, dude. Like, how big? Really? Like, come up to your. Yeah, with with their legs and their tall neck and everything, come up to like your your probably your waist. Damn. And they're that? like, yeah, they're probably yeah, they're fat, dude. Like um, <clears throat> like probably about the size of this here pillow, like one of these pillows here behind us here. I don't know, probably that big. Damn. They're big, dude. Well, I'll catch one for you. You catch goose? No, they're vicious. They they hiss at you. Dude, I heard super territorial. They're. I heard an owl for the first time. I I thought all they made was like a hoo hoo, like hoo hoo, but they make like a hissing noise too in the tree. Oh, did you hear it last night? No, it was in California, oh. in Ocean Beach. I didn't know that. Someone was lying to you, dude. That was just a, that was just a snake in the tree. It's going. Th- oh, and then there's all owl poop on the car. Huh? Is that snake poop? No, this, I didn't know that they actually made a different. No, do they make a different noise? I guess that makes sense. Even one of those kids confirmed with me yesterday. That was from San Diego. Yeah, he was like all about birds. Yeah. The one dude, Justin, he was all about the birdies. Every time we were skating, he's like, oh, that's a that's a red-tailed hawk over there. Oh, he knows that's like every hawk. bird. Yeah, he knows all the birdie birds. Yeah. I have a buddy like that. Mm-hmm. He's like, those bird guys are a yeah. little birdie. <laughs> they like collect the feathers, too. Into it. Do they? Some people do. They stick them in their hat, yeah. call them macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is that from? That's uh, 
freaking and call it macaron. Yeah, it's like Yankee old, Doodle went to town. Yeah, it's an old um. What do you call that? I don't even know. Yankee Doodle, old nursery rhyme. No, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yankee Doodle went to town <laughs> on a pony. Stuck a noodle in his, his hat, hat and called, called it macaroni. macaroni. But it's not. <laughs> he's not actually talking about noodles. I forget what that means. There's a different meaning for it. Is it a feather? I don't know. I think it's some kind of musical term. I can't remember. I if if anyone knows, I had a, I had a children's music class when I was going to be a teacher. I had to take a children's music, and he explained it in the class what it meant. And I can't freaking remember. Were you going to be a TBI? I was originally, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was. So I was first. first. I was um, teacher. I, of the I was going to do like impaired. no. First, I was like adaptive PE, and then I was like TBI, and then oh, that's. And then I found out one of Would you only be able to get adaptive PE jobs at like a a, a school? With I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. I think you'd have to yeah go in some kind of like specialized school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, which would be an intense job, dude. Yeah, that would be very. Intense. That's not a good fit for me. <laughs> I'd be burnt down in like a year. I know. I quit, man. <laughs> Can't take it no more. I'm going home and I'm drinking me a Bud Light, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this no more. <laughs> All these kids keep ripping off my t-shirts. <laughs> keep ripping off my sleeve. I only I already have thirty no sleeve tees at home. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'm the V-neck, brother. <laughs> Hulk so, Hogan, brother. <laughs> so I got into town yesterday. I went, uh, I was in California. Took a bird here. Uh, speaking of birds, I was with the bird man. Bird, oh. oh. Put the clip up, dude. We'll have to Show put the that clip. clip up. Have you posted it yet? No. Why? I was trying to figure out how to post it. Just post the slam. Yeah, what do you mean? I don't know. Like I gotta don't make t- some dramatic. No, not dramatic. Post about it. Just post that shit. People won't see you freaking. Try to drop in on the, Try to drop in on the full vert. On uh, the thirteen footer. <laughs> <laughs> Play the clip, dude. Kelly, right. cue it up. Come on. Oh my god. And hopefully the clip will play right now. But we, oh, dude. I was. I went there. And it was just me and Tony. Tony was, like, giving me lessons. And we were skating the street section a little, too. Mm-hmm. And then... Skating he, the smaller court. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. He hit, like, a... Pivot. Um, fakie. Pivot fakie, which was, like, a big milestone, he said. So that was sick. Because he was hurt here. Yeah. He broke his leg. It's his leg, he was limping, too. But he's going strong, dude. He's dropping it on the vert and everything. So you were saying he was limping, huh? Yeah. Man. But he's hitting scratcher grinds on the vert. He hit an ollie on the vert. Mm-hmm. Um, crazy. Yeah, it's not only fourteen weeks in breaking mm-hmm. his femur, but then we I like started pumping on the ramp, and then dropping it on like the seven footer just to get comfortable a bunch, and then I would go up there. So first he taught me to knee slide, like because I asked, mm-hmm. and that was scary, dude. Like dropping it on that with the knee slide, was, <laughs> like just falling into it was freaking scary. The first time I like. My knees didn't go under me, and they like I went on my back and just like slid down. Oh yeah, yeah. And then the second time, I almost like freaking broke my ankle because it got like stuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then I got the knee slide down, so that was like gave me a little more confidence. And then we kept going up there, and I couldn't see anything. But dude, when you're up top there, you feel how high you are. Like it's like a cliff. Mm. It feels like, and your like stomach is like, oh, this isn't good. And a couple times I, like, put my board up like I was going to drop in and then backed off, you know. Because literally the second I would put my board, my tail down on the coping and then step on it, yeah. my legs started shaking, like, uncontrollably. Yeah. Like, I was just like, dude. <laughs> and then Tony's like, you want to go back over the seven-footer and, like, get a little, like, a couple more tries just to, like, get a little more confidence? So I was like, no, I just got to do this. And then I, like, stepped on my board and fully committed like too much and went straight down like like basically ollied into the ramp and went 13 feet down like caught a little of the transition on the way down but it was your board hit did touch you felt your board touch the transition a little bit or no so what happened no no my board when i when my front foot went to like drop in i straightened my front leg too much 
and my board was gone. And then I just fell. Oh, okay. Like my board hit the ramp side of the wall Mm -hmm. and then I went down like just fully and I'm flying through the air like weightless like just flying (laughs) and my head whiplashed against my shoulder so hard that it like gave me one of those like you blacked out for a split second (laughs) and then I'm like I do this roll thing and then I'm up on my knees like in pure shock and Kelly the first thing she says is like did you break your back? (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) And I was like no I'm good and then Everyone sighed, like Tony and the filmer, and then Tony from the top of the ramp goes, you all good? Or no, he's like, how are you? And I was like, so out of it. I was like, I'm good, how are you? <laughs> and then he's like, are you all good? And I was like, yeah, are you all good? And he's like, dude, I've been up here the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just so, and then we like realized what I just did, and we were like freaking out, like <laughs> laughing and shit. Like, we were like, dude, I can't believe I just did that. Tony's like laughing so hard. He's oh like, my. NP- NBT, never been tried here. <laughs> dude, that's freaking, so epic. It was epic. You didn't want to do it? You didn't want to go again after that? <clears throat> I actually really did, but I think my body would have like if that happened again <laughs> well, he's back to like back, that yeah. would have been bad because i really think i got like a minor concussion just from the whiplash did your head hit the ramp or no no just your shoulder it hit my shoulder that hard that my shoulder feels like <clears throat> for like two days it felt like it was like minorly separated like well, i couldn't raise it over my head freaking ramp yeah. yeah and if you watch in slow-mo you can watch my head <laughs> hit my shoulder so hard really yeah, it's it's actually. What do you say? Welcome to the chicken nut club. Yeah, Tony was like, "Welcome to the <laughs> chicken nut club." I'm like, <laughs> dude, that was uh, it was, dude, that thing is like kept me up at night beforehand, and oh, especially no, you're now, going to yeah, it like I was like pure fear, like actual, I'll admit it, like just terrified, like but I knew I wanted to do it, yeah. and I just freaking when I. Dropped after it was said and done, and then like the fall happened. I like <laughs> felt like I just overcame a huge fear, even though I didn't. It didn't go as planned. Like yeah, but you that was for it. Yeah. yeah, it gave me a lot of confidence. I should have went up there and did it. Oh, stop, dude! Because I kick myself in the head every day. I'm like, oh, I should have went back. Shoulder up. yourself in the head every day. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, next but time, I mean, yeah, no, yeah. Next time we'll get it. He's like, there's no doubt in my mind next time you're here, you'll drop in on Right. Just getting used to the vert is what you got to do. Yeah, I want to try like a 10-foot vert ramp or something. Like, just to feel We'll like go eight. this week to one that might help a little bit. That would yeah. be sick. I forgot about that. We should have that yesterday, but we were kind of yeah, pushing yeah, time. Happening. Tomorrow's pretty open. Yeah, that's epic, though, dude. The, the no, Birdman ramp. Freaking wild. Went for the drop in. Went for the drop. And Nick Mullins will be able to. Yeah, I can get some pointers from Nick Mullins at the meetup. Yeah. Because he shreds the bird. Ay, 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 dude. That was scary, dude. I was, I think my biggest fears were like snapping my arms in half. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Like actually breaking something. Like, yeah, yeah, I think that was breaking something for sure. But like, specifically, I think like my elbows, like, them like mm. hyperextending or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just really went dude. straight to shoulder down oh. 13 feet. Dude, that was gnarly. <laughs> that was freaking gnarly. There was that second of the year when you had no board and you're like, oh no. Yeah, d- d- no, it all happened so fast that like I was, f- dude, I, f- it was like stepping off a cliff. I, yeah. like you're just in the air and then, no board. It, yeah, actually, as soon as my board was gone, I was like, Oh shit! <laughs> and like I was just so committed. And I was like in my mind, dude. I was like, I'm fucking dropping in and I'm landing this yeah. right now. And like when it wasn't there, I was like, what went what wrong, happened? dude? Yeah, like Boom. I was so ready. I was, it was uh, it's definitely like demoralizing too. Like I was like, you fucking won this time, ramp. Yeah. Like you know, I'd, well that dropping is so scary. The first time is like when you're up there, you it's almost like blacking out. It no is. No matter whether you land it or you don't. 100%. That first, that first attempt is just like, just gotta go. Yeah, it is blacking out. That's a yeah. great way of putting it. I Sketch. definitely blacked out. Because I remember 
Kelly said she even saw the transition in my face. Like, yeah, all right, I'm going when, this when I went to like step back off it again, but then I was like, fuck it, like I'm going right now. Oh, and yeah. I just like had this look in my face, like, <laughs> I don't care what happens, like, I'm getting over this, <laughs> dude. And but now, like, even now, if I tried it again, it would totally be different, I think, because I know how that feels a little bit more, right? You know, yeah. Like you kind of almost have to like lean back a little. Gotta set the board yeah. for the board has to lead. Yeah, almost. it was. Because it'd be kind of better to swoosh out than do that again. It, it might sound dramatic, but honestly, that was like one of the scariest things I've ever done. Yeah, that's good. It, sure. it was <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but every time you go back up that ramp, I realized it got a little easier to like stomach being up there. Mm-hmm. Vert, sliding on skate, vert. Yeah. That's the other thing. I was like, so what? Once you learn how to drop in this thing, you got to learn to do tricks on the other side. You know? yeah. yeah, that's the next thing. Once you drop in, then you got mad speed and you're going right towards the other wall, dude. It's like imagine going in fake, like rock to fakey or something on a vert wall. Oh. Yeah, but that gets com- you get comfortable with that. Yeah, you definitely with repetition. <laughs> Because I remember the first time dropping in on, like, a, even a mini ramp, like, four feet was sketchy. Uh, yeah. I remember the first time trying to drop in, actually, ever on a, like, quarter pipe. I was at this little skate park. Yeah, everybody remembers your first Yeah, trip, I was yeah. a little kid at the skate park. And my brother, John, I'll never forget. So it was, like, one quarter pipe on one side. It was just oh, this tiny skate park. It was a quarter pipe, probably, like, four feet tall. And then in the middle was like a box you go over, like pyramid type box with like a hubba or something and a rail. And then on the other end was a longer like rolling ramp, you know? Mm-hmm. And I would always go down the rolling and just like go over the mm-hmm. thing and just cruise. And my brother John like kept like trying to talk me into dropping in on the quarter <laughs> pipe. And I was so scared. I was a little killing. No, like, you know, and he was like, come on, Ed, stop being a little baby. And like, he gave me the confidence, though, to, like, get up there. And he's like, I'll catch you if you fall. And, like, one time he didn't catch me, and I was so pissed. And uh, I I just, like, ate shit so many times. And then finally when I got that drop in, it was like you couldn't not do it. You know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. like it became natural. I was like, this is freaking amazing. Yeah, once you drop in once, you're like, oh, I got it. Stomp the bug. Yeah. I remember. It's like, riding the a, bug. it's like riding a stomp the bug. <laughs> It's like riding a bike once you do it one time. Oh, exactly. Got it. Yeah. That's a funny feeling of things like that. Riding a bike or like dropping in and like something that if you do once, then you can do it like forever. There's not a lot of things that are like that. Yeah, that is crazy. Most actually. things are like that you have to learn like that. Even like, like tying your shoe is like something you don't think about anymore. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah, I guess that's kind of... Um, yeah, I feel like it's still, you still kind of forget after you do it the first time of how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's different ways. And I'm so. trying to think of a, of another example of something that, like, once you do it once, you can do it forever. You know what I mean? Just, like, one time, though, takes. Mm-hmm. There's not many things like that. Yeah, there aren't. It's a cool feeling, though. Is cool. I didn't. I had been skating for years before, because there's no skate parks growing up. So I had been skating for years before I dropped in. But my buddy... Oh, really? Buddy Nate's dad built a little cord pipe. <clears throat> and it was just in his garage. So, I'd like, you know, it's not as, like, that scary. You know what I mean? Because you had been skating for a couple <clears throat> years. Yeah, I always, like, kick flipping, varial, like, skating gaps and stuff like that. That's crazy. By the time I dropped in. So, it was just, like, committing, and then it's like, oh, yeah. God. Have you ever dropped in on, like, sketchy, just, like, walls? Mm, yeah, a bunch, yeah. Yeah. I've dropped in on like a straight wall <laughs> to like a bank. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a five foot just vertical wall into a bank. When was that? <clears throat> um, a long time ago. When you could see. I used to drop in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And then I was dropping in a bunch of shit too. Blind. I'm dropping in yeah. a million things. Yeah. No, because that's. But then I, broke I feel my, like the broke five my foot collarbone dropping in on something. So I've been over it lately. The five foot vert is like. That's sketchy. I feel like you almost need sight for that. The what? The, like a five foot vert wall. Oh yeah. Mm. You just gotta get comfortable with. You can get comfortable with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just getting comfortable sucks because you have to eat shit. 
Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Or you just do, I used to do it like a bunch of really small. I should show you like a bunch of like tiny little banks that you can get. Like you can find just a steep, steep bank that's only like three feet tall. You know what I mean? And then yeah. you can like just try to practice just like slapping your board down on that almost. Yeah, that's true. I need yeah. to do that. I learned axle I stalls that, yesterday. I don't know if that would help. I'm the cute. I'm the the uh, adaptive skate park, bro. Shredding the adaptive park. That was fun. Yeah, you're shredding. The we car. had, dude. We had like what seven people skating it yesterday. Yeah, that was the most people that skated for sure. That was freaking awesome, and it didn't feel like crowded either. Like, cause the quarter pipe's so long, mm-hmm. and everyone could just set up. Yeah, Mark was doing all the NBDs there. Yeah, Alleged the quarter pipe combo. That was sick. Like, oh, it's so easy for him. It's crazy. Those guys were shrelping. And I got the axle, though. Did you get one on top yet? Yes, I got one on top Did you yesterday. Get on top? Yes, and they dapped me up. Oh, no way. Yeah. You were stalling up there for a second? I got there for like two seconds, probably. Yes. And then I got one uh, 5-0 grind, too, on top. Ooh, a little scratchy scratch. Yeah, but like on top. Oh, on top? Yeah. Oh, that's way sicker than the axle, bro. I did it on accident trying the axle. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mark was just like five owing across your thirty foot freaking quarter pipe. Like that was insane. Yeah, like across the whole thing. Yeah, he goes do long grinds and slides. Those are nice. Yeah, back tail the other day that was like twenty five feet long, just chilling. Yeah, that's one I want to learn on like a quarter pipe is like a back tail. Mm, just, it's a good trick. Yeah. Just even like a tail stall, you it know. It looked nice, dude. Back tails. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done a back tail on a quarter pipe. I did a, uh, <laughs> I did a board slide to Fakie on Tony's quarter pipe, and he freaked out. <laughs> he was like all stoked. And you slide those far all the time. Yeah, those are my jam. It's your go-to, huh? Yeah, because when I was it's growing like up, it's that's harder, like, scarier trick to do. That's like the, I like just taught myself weird things that felt like I could do on a ramp. Like I would just kind of push into things and stuff, and like slide. That's how every, and, yeah, everyone has like their little things, like this yeah. feels right to you, kind of. Yeah, exactly. And my shit's so weird, because I do a lot of things fakie on a quarter pipe, or on a half pipe, too, mm-hmm. like a mini ramp. Come on, when are you going back to Tony's, dude? Dude, I would have been back like in a couple of days if I was still out there. <laughs> I like, it, things freaking keeping me up. I like think you know, you ever have those memories where... <clears throat> you want to do some so like like for me the thing i could bring up is like a wrestling match like i would just finish a wrestling match you're like if i only did that you know what i mean like if you uh-huh. could just go back into time yeah and just what like you almost obsess over that like but there's no use have tony meet us at uh modern dude. i know get a session i should in. just do that like yo you want to meet the half pipe go for this again he might be down. So busy. I should actually propose that. Hit to him, him up. Yeah, I could try that. Be That'd sick. be sick. But don't you want to do it on Tony's ramp? Is the question. Yeah, because it's never been done on his ramp. That's a taller ramp too. Yeah. It's freaking. That ramp is nice. I know his is a mellower transition. Though, yeah. So it might be. Yeah, I don't know. If like it, Tony was even like, I wouldn't drop into that oververt bull. I saw you drop in at New Smyrna right now with my leg. But I'd drop in on my ramp. Mm. That's why he was like, I think you could do this. Yeah. Just getting past that. You gotta just get past that two feet of vert. I know, dude. And he showed me, like, with my cane where the vert stopped. And I was like, oh, it's really not that bad, you know? Oh, it's, it's so scary. Cause it's so... you're Dude, you're freaking weightless. <clears throat> that's the... Sc- and that's the thing. I kept going through my mind after. Yeah, like, there's what a, did I there's do a, wrong? There's man? a point where... It's almost like it feels like the board isn't attached to your feet. Exactly. That's, that's the, the feeling part. I can't get over. It. I'm like, how do you do that? That's that's the feeling. I like. I walked away from that. I'm like, I know I can do it. Yeah. But I'm almost confused on how because yeah, you gotta put that your feet feeling down was first, so foreign, yeah. dude. I was like, well, <laughs> I don't. How would I re re like? Yeah. You know. How would I freaking adjust to this? Practice that. Yeah. Like that feeling where your freaking board is gone and you're like sideways, dude. <laughs> you're wait. So I told Tony, actually, this was cool. It was weird and crazy. Every time when I was pumping on the ramp, every time I get close to vert, I would be weightless 
and my light perception would go away because I'd be lightheaded. Like it was really? nuts. I would literally all. Uh, I don't know if it's happened to you when you had light perception, but sometimes these like black clouds almost like roll through, like when you get like mm-hmm. lightheaded. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. it was like that feeling, and I, I just had to roll with it because I don't. I turn my vision off completely when I'm on the ramps, but like that was so weird. Every time I would see, I would get lightheaded and feel that happen to me, and like that would throw me off a little. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know why. <laughs> you it should was, like your blood's not pumping, dude. Dude, it was, and every time I get down, it'd be like an adrenaline rush. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> oh man! And every time, oh dude, that was freaking nuts. That was a, overcoming a very big fear. You definitely got a next try, dude. Next yeah. session, you got that for next sure. Next session. Dude. Next session, I'm definitely. If I fall, I'm definitely getting up and doing it again, though. Mm. Mm. You're not gonna fall, mate. You go, you go on a set four down and draw it down to the outside. Yeah. All I want for my birthday is a big booty ramp. <laughs> is a big booty ramp. I want like a nine, ten foot vert ramp. My I birthday. know. We gotta find that good. That six footer at modern. You gotta feel like that. that. I know, but it's not vert. It it almost is though. But that's the feeling you get. I get. You it get that feeling yeah. on that ramp. Okay. For sure. That's yeah, the feeling. That's true. You definitely get that feeling. It's just that longer. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Just think about that. Yeah. Think about that. Think about that. Just think about that, boy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Do we have any questions from viewers or no? I don't think we do this week, do we? We do this week. People are, hey, listeners, you're slacking. Yeah, you're slacking. Where's the questions? Also, another shout out to Brian Beaverson just because he was so stoked on the show. Brian Beaverson, 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 Beaverson. Beaverson. Yeah, our boy. Do we? I don't think we have anything, but yeah, dude, we got just um, fun-filled adventures planned. Yeah, we're gonna go. What are we doing today? (laughs) We're going going lakeside. Do a bunch of stuff on the lake. We're gonna go. uh, I'm gonna race Dan. Race. You know, Anthony's gonna lose to me. Dan's gonna. I'm a fish. Dude, dude, you know what they call me? You know who they call me? My shoulder's a little remember. banged up, though, from the ramp. Yeah, RC, you're already putting excuses out No, I'm there, just going to look that much better when I beat you, bud. My shoulder hurts, too, bud. <laughs> <laughs> I got metal in mine, dude. I'm heavier on my left side. You do not. Do you have metal in your shoulder? Yes. From your collarbone? Yes. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Does it set off the metal detector at airports? No, you can feel it in here. No, I don't want to feel it. Feel it. No. Yeah. No, stop. No. I don't want to feel it. No. Oh, it's weird. It's on top there. It's like a metal plate. Yeah, it's a plate on top of the collarbone. Hold it together. Oh, it's like rigid. See, I'm heavier on my left side, though, so I'm going to have to (laughs) swim a little bit. I'm going to have to cut my hand a little bit more on the left side. And on the right to keep me afloat. At least that lady ain't gonna be cold. They call me um ah oh, I can't remember her name. Michael Phelps. No, who's the blind swimmer? <laughs> What's her name? Anastasia. They Pagonia? call me Anastasia in the water, dude. Dude, she would smoke you. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably not. Probably not. Probably, probably not. I want to do. Uh, She's used to being contained in a pool. This is an open lake, bro. This is open lake, bro. This is free. This is a freestyle swimming, dude. Real freestyle. Freestyle. No. This is cipher. We're gonna see if it works. We're gonna attach a beeper box to the buoy and swim to the buoy. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to hear it though. Swimming. How far is the buoy? Is it far? Uh, no. All right. Like, uh, well, there's there's different buoys. There's one. We need a close one. No, 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 no. I also thought about this. Once we get to the boo, we're going to have to get back to shore. <laughs> so oh, no. Shore. I don't know. We're not going to know which way shore is once we get to the buoy. We're going to have to. Well, no, this is how we can know. We're going to have to tie the beeper box <laughs> facing shore so that when we take it off, we have to make sure we go back the way the beeper box was facing. But it doesn't. It doesn't have like directional sound like that. It's just beeping. Oh, you know I know. I mean? But where it's actually physically located on the buoy will be facing the shore. Where does the buoy spin? Um, it doesn't spin. But but once we leave the buoy, 
if we start oh, veering left yeah. and right, <laughs> if we start. we're just gonna be yeah, we, yeah. Oh no! It's like a. Oh, I have an idea. We need a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah, we could just have a speaker going on the shore. Yeah. Or just yeah, I'm Kelly. We'll or just there. Kelly do like gonna be there filming. Call. That's gonna be fun though. Dude, you're, just, you're going down. It's that fine. I think it's like I can't stop yawning. Had a long birthday. A long. Um. What am I saying? Oh, it's probably like 30 yards. 30 yards. Yeah, 90 That's feet. 90 feet. About 90 feet. If Maybe a little man. further than that. Maybe like a, a couple hundred feet most. At, at most, a couple hundred feet. All I know is there's going to be an icy cold Bud Light in the beach from when I get back. <laughs> Once I beat you, I'm going to have a drink. You think this was sponsored by Bud Light? Light. Yeah, shout out to Bud Light. No. Proud new sponsor, Anheuser-Busch. Nope, nope. I would not accept that as a sponsor. Anheuser-Busch owned by a, good by a, I think it's a Chinese company. <laughs> and even American no, made no more. probably owned by Procter & Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, um, what else, doggy? What else? We got batting cages coming up today, too. That's I'm most excited for. Um... I made a basket yesterday. Once. Oh, yeah, playing basketball. And Otter popped the ball. Otter popped. He was playing mean D. Dude. Otter was playing defense against, who was it, uh, Mark? Was he playing Mark uh, or Chris? I think Corey or something. Chris, Chris yeah, yeah, I think Chris. Chris. One of the skaters, he was uh, he was playing basketball, and Otter was playing crazy. mean D. Like, when he would go to jump, <laughs> Otter would jump after him, too. And, like, <laughs> then he finally got the ball and put his teeth in. Popped out. it. I didn't think he would pop it that dude, easy. He dude. popped it so quick. So easy. It's kind of crazy. Savage. <laughs> and then he just went to town on the ball. But I made a, a swish of all things. He, uh, Mark was using my cane to tap Tapping, the backboard. Yeah. At first, he was tapping the rim, and I thought he was tapping the backboard. And then I was, like, totally mm. off. And then I threw one, like, too high. And then I was, like, I was almost, like, over it. Like, I let these guys play basketball. I was just trying to take, like, a shot. And they were, like, dude, keep going. And I was, like, oh, I guess so. And you got I was, like, this is going to take a while, dude. And then next shot, nothing but net. And I thought it was I thought it was when the ball hits the net underneath just the rim. The net, yeah. It, like, sound, it does sound the same yeah. way, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not regulation, though. It's a little shorter than your... Uh, Average Regulation who be. Did you get that put in? Or was it here? No, that was here. I was wondering was why here. you had a basketball hoop. Yeah, it was just here on the garage. Wait, so you did batting cages? Mm-hmm. How did that go? It's chill. It's not... It's going to be... It'll be fun. Well, I, I only did the slow speed, so I want to do it... See how, how fast we can get up to. Oh, my God. Because the one is, like, really fast. I want to say it's, like, 60. Do you time... It goes up to, like, So, can you hear when it pops out? Uh, yeah. And then do you time then from you the pop to... Yeah, okay. And then I didn't know this last time, but the ball was going... I kept swinging and it was... Where was it? Um, lower than my bat. So I just squat, I squatted more. <laughs> but you know how, you're not supposed to do that. If it's lower, you're supposed to move forward a little bit. Oh, really? Because the ball's always going to hit the same spot. Mm-hmm. So you move forward where the ball's gonna when the, when the ball's gonna be a little higher, you know what I mean? Because it's arcing down, because it's like already dropping mm-hmm. by the time it gets to the cage. But it's gonna mm-hmm. be kind of hard to film because there's all it's, everything's caged in. Oh so yeah, it might be weird for Kelly to. She well, can you can film it. through the fence, I guess. Yeah, exactly. so. But it'll be it'll be fun. I want to see if we can get because the one I think yeah, it goes up fast, dude. Fast pitch. Oh my god! There's like three. Does it tell you how far you or how hard you hit it? No, it's not uh, like that. You just crank him into like a, another fence, like a fenced in thing. I'm hitting home run. I'm gonna hit over the. Fence. But it does feel good when you connect that one, dude. Bang. Oh, dude! I Bang. You ever hit your hand? No. Uh. You'd be. I mean, that would be hard to do if <laughs> unless you're stepping forward more, because the ball is always gonna hit the same place. All right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So unless you're. <laughs> Right in front of the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Gilmore. It. it can like reflect though, deflect off of uh, like the top of the gate though, and come down on you though. That could be a little sketch. Ooh. Wear a helmet. Boom. Do they give you the helmets? Boom. <laughs> That's kind of what it sounds like when you crank <laughs> the aluminum bat. 
Um, I don't know if I have helmets. <coughs> <laughs> that is how it kind sounds. Of sounds aluminum it's bringing air. me back to like Boom. little league days when you hear the bats going and then you go to Boom. the snack bar. There's a little bit of tink in the manga. <laughs> Shut the <up. Boom. laughs> The sound bites for this episode Boom. are going to be unreal. Boom. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's almost Bud Light time right now. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, we got to open a skateboard, too. Yeah. A custom-made... Uh, four custom, bad eyes skate. Custom four bad eyes, boy. Yeah, that's going to be sick. What's his name? Casper? Casper. Big Casper shout out the Casper. friendly Aussie. He's from Australia. No? Yeah, yeah Casper the friendly Aussie. He's shout out to Casper. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Thanks, uh, thanks, bloke. No, it's, it's English. <laughs> What's like the slang for an old? Hey, thanks, mate. Hey, good on you. I don't know. Good on you. Good cunt. <laughs> thanks, mate. That's what they are saying. Like, Jesus, take it easy. You know? <laughs> Jason was saying. Ladies around here. Jason Ellis was saying, oh, it's like, for like an American girl to say cunt, like it's really fucked up. Like it's yeah, bad. It's super but like if an Aussie chick says it, it's like supernatural. It's like super base. Yeah, like. It's in their dialect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's so funny. They have all kinds of crazy terms, dude. Yeah. What's the other? I don't. They got crowded. No. Interesting uh, group of people, dude. I love my Australian friends. Me too. They're they're very unique. You know what I mean? They have their own. Um, yeah, all their, their own. own like, they have like their own flair. Their own yeah. all their own sayings and everything. And it's like they're very unique. It's and, sick. Um, I find myself like wanting to when I'm around them for long enough. Like I want to talk like that. Yeah. Like I just want to. Yeah. Pretty masculine though. Yeah. Kind of, kind of a little too masculine for me. I have a little more feminine side than a, yeah. than an Aussie. <laughs> tough bastards. We're tough bastards. Tough bloke. Bloke. That's it. No, is it? No. Isn't bloke Dang English? It, that is English. I said it. I, I think I literally just. You said need that. to stop, dude. Yeah, mate. <laughs> they don't drink Bud Light out there, mate. No. What's it, what's an Aussie beer? <laughs> I think they had, there's a boy beer. Oh, Forsters. <laughs> but that's like I think that's like not really an Aussie beer. It's just marketed like that. You know what I'm talking about? You ever see Forsters? Yeah, yeah. It's like a big fat can. You know what I'm talking about? I think so. They don't have them in Michigan, but in Cali they used to always get it. I forgot about that beer. It's kangaroo on it, mate. It's going to be Aussie. Oh. Oi. He brought London night too. Bro. Oh, man. He was like, on that air here. I'm hungry. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm hungry, man. He little snacks, honey. We were playing fruit snacks from last time, mate. Fruit snack rapper. Yeah. That was the name of last episode. Yeah. Fruit snack rapper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good on you. Shut the... Yeah. Sorry about that. I do love the accent. The day after his birthday. I wish my voice was raspy like He's 35. Yeah, I'm older than I sound a bit sounds older. sounds old. Yeah. How do you feel about that? 35 does actually sound like a bit older than uh. I told him it would be normal. the fountain of youth. I mean, I don't feel old, but the, the, the number, when I say it out loud, sounds old compared to any other day, age I've been. 25, 25 was a weird age turning. I remember 25 felt weird because I'm like, oh, I'm in my mid-20s now. Yeah, I guess 30 was a kind of a one where you're like, oh, yeah, 30s. That's true. Yeah. I wonder what it's like How old are you? 50. 27. For, you've been 27 for like three years, dude. <laughs> 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 you had a birthday. You were 26. Dude, we've only been you? friends for like a year. I know. You were 26, though, when I met you? Uh, yes. No, you were telling me you were 27 back then, too. No, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I see what I have been. No. You've been telling me 27 for, for over Dude, a year now. You were 33 for five years, I've, bro. I've officially known you for over a year now. Because we probably first met on June, like, 19th June, yeah, or something. June 20th. 19th, yeah, whatever that was. Yes, but you all had a year. Oh, this is one year. year anniversary, mate. This is the one year anniversary. We got to pull a cake out in the freezer. Oh, we got a chocolate cake from last <laughs> night. 
You gotta pull that on Celebrate. Hey, bon Shut up with that. Oh, I like it. Yeah. We're gonna get so many hate oh. people. People are gonna be like, that's the worst Aussie accent. Well, no, it's fucking dead on, mate. <laughs> Good on you. Let us know what you think of Dan's that Aussie Spot accent. Spot on, mate. Also, sending, send in more questions. We love your questions. And give us bad reviews. Give us money. Give us... Un- <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bad reviews. Are we wrapping up right now? No, but oh. I'm saying we need more uh, more bad likes and bad reviews. <laughs> Unlike unsubscribes. Yeah. Bad comments. Yeah, bad comments. Dude, I had my Uber driver the other day. Oh. Pick me up downtown. <laughs> And uh, he's like, well, he couldn't like, he could barely speak English. He was, it was sketchy. We're in the, well, for, ah, geez, where do I start with this guy, dude? I get to his car and he's like, how many miles? How many miles? I'm like, how many miles? I'm like, I I don't know. It's on, I'm going to West Bloomfield. Just take me where the, yeah, you accepted the ride. He's like, you give tip. You give tip. I'm like, no. I'm like, what is it? You give tip. I was like, gets, like, gas very high, gas very high. I'm like, uh, okay, I'll tip you on the app. I'll tip you on the app. He's, I was like, $10? He's like, he's like, okay, $10, yes. You can get in. That's all. And we're lot. getting in. And then he's, like, trying to talk, but he, he, can't, he can't speak enough English. And then, like, I feel the car, like, getting, we're on the freeway, like, jerking left and right. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And he was, and then he hits play on his phone, and it plays out loud, like, Sorry, um, gas is high. Not a lot of work in your area. So he was like, "Yeah, trying." He was to obviously you. typing into his phone on the oh, freeway while driving. Sketch as hell. And then he's like, "How much? How much is the ride? How much is the ride? How much you tip in the car again?" And I'm like, "Dude, ten dollars. I don't know. It's like a. It was a ninety dollar Uber ride from downtown to my house. Ninety. And it'll be like ninety three dollars." Jeez. But I go on. The, I'm on the app, and I put ten dollars in, like because you can do it before you get dropped off. And then he drops me off, and I'm like 1905. And he's like, "Yep." It was like steep driveway. He's like, "Yep, right here, right here. You're good." Let's me out. Takes off. Wrong fucking house. No. T- Drop me off like two houses down from my house. And I was like, "Not even this next door." Dude. And I fucking took his tip away. I was like, "This dude, <laughs> it's a nine dollar tip ride." And he's it was so annoying dude that's aggressive it was very aggressive I have never gotten an Uber ride where they're like how many miles first of all yeah. like it says on the app and you accept like, the dude, ride well you just yeah what are you, what are you doing this is what you're doing this is what you're signed up for dude <laughs> one time I was pissed though because <laughs> earlier that day I had I started looking for a ride at 1030 I had four ride drivers cancel my ride and then there weren't enough. Wait, of, four? Four in a row. Back to back to back to back to back. Cancel my ride. And, How long um, were we waiting for? By the time, it was like 10.50. Or it was like 10.30 and then it was like 11.50 and I gave up and I, I had to have Heather drive me downtown. Oh my God. It was like that's Father's so Day. I don't know what was. I was so. This was the same day. That's why by the time I had that dude at the end of the night, I'm like, bro. Oh, I'd be so over Uber. I was just, it was Lyft was the one that was screwy. And then I. I had three drivers cancel, and then I went to Uber. That driver canceled. I would have lost. I was like, it. "All right, I'm done." I would have lost. I was, it. I was, I was I losing my shit. Would've, I would have. I would have gotten in the car and started driving. Dude, I was yelling. I was like, "Fuck! This is ridiculous, dude." Oh man, so that bummed. is. I've never had it that bad. I've had it a couple times. That's that's like uh, it was insane. That's not normal. Four in a row like it's that. It's not, and and especially three lifts and then the Uber. That's like insult to injury, dude. dude. I was yeah. I think it's. I must be all the gas prices. Yeah, people not not like an, not as many drivers or what. But there's a. They raise the price on there. I had so there's like a gas tax. I had an Uber driver one time when me and Kelly first started dating. I just got back from like Brazil, and she was living in the city. It was a snowstorm, like really bad, and I wanted to get to the city before, it, like you got snowed in basically, mm-hmm. so I could at least be snowed in there with her, and. I called, like, I was like, fuck it, I'll just call an Uber. Like, it's going to be, like, 120 bucks to go to New York City, but screw it. And I call the Uber. Like, 10 minutes later, I get a phone call, and it's the Uber driver. He's like, wait, where the hell are you trying to go? Like, seeing that I'm trying to go to the city yeah. in the middle of this snowstorm. He's, 
Oh no, but I can't help you. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. this guy, like, I called another Uber. This guy, I called the Uber after I called, like, uh, ordered it, you know. Uh-huh. And I call this this guy. He's from Ireland. He's like, "Fuck it, I'll drive you, man." Yeah. He's like, "What yeah, <laughs> yeah. the They don't want to drive this little storm, and it ended up being like the coolest dude ever. Like, That's we sick. talked the entire ride up. Like, and it was like one of those where you like want to be talking to him because it was like so interesting. We like. It was just like one of those like meant to be things, but it was so, yeah, dude, that was sick. Some uh, people don't want to. That's the same thing. Me going downtown from here because like forty minutes, which is not far, but in Michigan, the people are like think that's like so far. <laughs> they're like they'll just cancel the ride because like it's too far. Man, I don't want to do it. It's like, dude, <sighs> that's yeah. tight though. You had a good dude. Yeah, <laughs> that was a good experience. I've had some shitty Uber experience. Mm-hmm. I can't. I, it's so frustrating that we have to rely on that stuff though. It's Isn't so it? annoying because when it first came out i was like this is sick the dude best, yeah. this is like freedom like it, yeah and it's on my phone like wherever i am yeah, i can it, just call it a is, ride it really is really good as far as that goes like actually having some independence back but at the same time dude it's like <laughs> have you ever gotten in the wrong car <laughs> Uh, I did that no, once. I don't think I always check. In the city, I went and opened the wrong door, and like this girl screamed and like locked the doors. Oh my like, god! I was like, "Chill, I have my cane." Like my bad. But it's New York City. You never know, dude. For sure, that's yeah, good. Like, no! <laughs> help! Help! <laughs> help! <laughs> help me! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that your Uber, sorry. He's got a stick! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that is not He's my rap. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> Just a cane, sorry. Thought you Uber. Are you Rebecca? Nope. Nope, sorry. <laughs> White Camry? No. You are not Muhammad. I'm nope. sorry. Sorry, yeah. White Camry? Nope. 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 <laughs> Oh man, dude, that's, that's funny. <laughs> I, did I tell you I? There's a kid who won like a bronze, or, yeah, I think a bronze medal for freaking Paralympic judo, like five, five or six years ago. Like he was blind, but now he's driving for Uber. <laughs> Shut up! I swear to God. Oh my God. <laughs> How the, do they take his medal away, dude? <laughs> no. Why don't they? Dude, there's another guy who has a gold medal who like could get his license if he wanted to. Also, <laughs> but this is not to. I mean, actually, you can be legally blind and drive, though. I know, but like that. That's, so that's not. That's actually legit. I no, guess. that's not the threshold, though, for like judo. Like it is, this it is past year, four hundred people have gotten classed out. Yeah, they tra- they changed yeah. it, right? Yeah. It's- as, but like I make that so, as a joke. Oh, so they were they don't get their medals taken because they actually were within that. Yeah, you know, at that time, so, yeah. or some people just got away with it. it must, at that time. you know, what it probably was is they probably want they needed more numbers. They needed they, more no, one hundred percent. They're also like freaking out now because there's like so many people are getting classed out. Yeah, I don't know, but also they found like three. They also changed the like what they're doing to like qualify you i guess and they found out like at least 100 people were like cheating and weren't blind damn i know like what they faked their yeah exams or something yeah and like the country I thought the, about that the country you helps could, do the scam like the, i was gonna say you could a sighted person could go into the doctors and just say no i can't read that chart that's what i mean <laughs> you it's, know what i mean but you could take x-rays of eyes and stuff you could to say see, you're like, blind <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I guess. Could you? There must. There must be a way to tell. Some. I don't know. How do you tell if someone can see or not without their actual perception? Just start throwing shit at them when they're not expecting it. I'm wondering if, if the they duck, like if you, they duck, they can see. You know how they can take a picture of your like corny, like all your retina and like everything in your eye. Yeah, they can probably see if it's firing or not. Yeah, I think so. That's true. But there must be some freak things where I wonder if there is anyone that's ever done that and like lived their life, like went to the doctor and was Which like, I "Yeah, I'm, but I can't see. There's nothing wrong with your eyes. I just still can't. I can't see." And you just. Lie with a die, die with a lie. 
die with a lie. I guess, yeah, because they can look into your eye and say, no, your eye looks normal. Yeah. Right. And say, no, there's nothing. There's wrong. no detachment. There's no... Right. You know, all these things are right. firing. Because I think I have, like, a detached nerve or retina or something, like, something off. Yeah. That, like, you can that, see they, them. That they can see just by, yeah. like, putting a... Like the light up to your eyes and stuff. Like the light, and they go with like a little like scope. monocular thing. Yeah, they yeah. Look in there, yeah. <clears throat> Which seems crazy. They look at the back of your eye. Yeah. I remember when I was like, still had my vision, like some some vision, you know, before like a Is lot of vision, vision? loss. <laughs> I they had me going through all different like telescopes, like looking to see what would help, like all mm-hmm. these handheld telescopes to read like signs and stuff. And mm-hmm. There were some cool gadgets. The monocular, I, I used to have a little monocular 12X thing was nice. Dude, I oh. used to have these glasses called, I think they were called Max TVs Pit or Vipers? something. No, Max <laughs> Pit Vipers. <laughs> Max TVs, I think it was called. And they were like double lenses. So like it was one, so it was a set of glasses and then like three inches spaced away from the original lenses <laughs> no, were these like magnifying lenses. And you could, like, I remember I would sit on the couch and, like, watch TV with them. <laughs> and you could, like, zoom and, like, focus. You still have them? I gotta find those, Sounds dude. Sick. I think they're in my parents' house. They, You would, dude, you would die on how they look. They're, like, these freaking bionic, like, glasses. Speaking of, where did I, I had a pair of shades. They're not on my head. I got a mean pair of shades. Is that a real song? Yeah. I had I don't know what happened to my shades. Oh, there's your hand. Uh-huh. Oh, hi, you have hands. I had a they're sick happy hour ones. They're like ice blue. No. Yeah, but they have a you know what they have on there is the uh, the magnetic thing for the org cam on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly has worn sunglasses oh, right before here. that's literally happened. in front of me. <laughs> Got them. Bam. These are sick shades, oh, dude. Man. Let me see. They're happy hours. Just like a classic, but Ooh. they're like a. I think oh, they do have the work. You I put them on the right side. I put them on the left. You're lefty. Yeah. What, are you left-handed? No, just some things are. Why would you use your left hand if you're? Sometimes not left, left-handed. I don't know. Maybe dexterous. Who do they look better on? Nobody cares, um, bro. I think they fit my. Face. Bro, there's uh, there's your blind people watching this. Just, they don't. They, don't, fit, they, they can't don't fit tell. My face right. There's blind people watching this. They can't tell who looks better. What, are they too small for you? Yeah. I have a wide face. It's always hard to find sunglasses. You have though. a wide face, but short legs. <laughs> You're shaped like a... Like, like, a, like a butternut squash. Like an upside down triangle. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, you don't have that body type. <laughs> Some people have like, their super wide shoulders. You know what I mean? Oh, I have that, <clears throat> where it's like the V. You're, you're shaped like a Greek god, bro. Greek. Jacked, bro. Ripped. I pick things up and put them down. Oh, you need to show me the kettlebell routines right oh, after this, dude. I will. I will. I will. Ah, I'm so itchy. I'm so dry. There's so many mosquitoes. We gotta go to the lake. Yeah, a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. There might be lunch. bugs on the rest of you mugs, but there ain't no bugs on me. Four bad eyes. We're back and together. Well, we're going to another episode right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> not like an intro, dude. When we're back. We're back in the studio. Back in the saddle again. <laughs> Dan had the Help! Point. Help! <laughs> <laughs> He's got a broomstick. He's got a baseball bat. <laughs> it's a slide iron. It's a slide iron. <laughs> got a golf club. <laughs> He's got a fishing pole. <laughs> He's got a fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an oar. <laughs> He's got a stick. He's got a stick. stick. Oh, on that note, we out. We out, yo. Until next week. Keep it's been real. You, Send in uh, those questions. Dan at fourbadeyes.com. Anthony at fourbadeyes.com. Fourbadeyes.com. F O U R. That's it. <laughs> One love. Keep pushing. And one love from P.
Four Bad Eyes.